These days, however, young people are in no hurry to settle down, get married, and have children. They are focused on their careers, on figuring out themselves and what they want in life. Creating a family means that you're also taking into consideration another person's interests, your spouse's and later your children's interests too. Having no family gives them the freedom to make life-changing decisions on their own, without consulting anyone, without having to discuss anything and find middle ground. It's so much easier this way to create the life that they want. They put themselves first. Still, everyone wants to have a romantic relationship, because it's natural. Only now people don't follow the stereotypical courtship marriage path. Instead, they date for years, either living separately or living together, quote-unquote trying each other out. Obviously, it wouldn't make any sense for a guy to pay for his girlfriend in these circumstances, while both of them work and neither of them has taken any new responsibilities, the kind that husband and wife would take on when they start their own family. These days, boyfriends and girlfriends share the same bed but have separate budgets, because why would you invest into something that's just temporary? So Carl's views are just practical and rational in this scenario of modern relationships. Yaya wants to have a modern relationship with Carl, yet still enjoy the financial benefits of being married. Not really fair, Yaya. I like to take you for dinner, I enjoy paying for you, but there comes a point where I do feel used. When I use you? Well a few hours pass after their elevator fight. They have a very sincere conversation in the hotel room and make up. Yaya shared her fears and hopes with him, he found them reasonable and even got inspired to become the man she could rely upon. Their reconciliation looks very sweet, as though this is the beginning of a new chapter in their relationship. But be careful, Carl, Yaya still didn't promise you anything. It is a decision to be together, a conscious decision of two people who love each other to be perhaps the only constant thing in this crazy changing world, to stay together. But Yaya and Carl didn't make this decision, they made a bet. Sadly, it's not long before another argument comes up. While sunbathing on the deck with Carl, Yaya greets a topless crew member with a wide flirty smile and gives him a long look. Carl sees everything and he's confused. It's one thing to give a polite smile to someone when you're fully clothed and it's completely different when you're in a bikini. Seriously, Her behavior... I mean, we're sitting here together, you shouldn't... Just don't do that. Do what? A bikini. Her behavior hurts Carl. When he's asking her what she's doing, she dodges his questions, distracts him with her own questions, and pretends she doesn't understand what he's referring to. He tries to explain to her that her behavior hurts him and asks her not to do it in the future, but his attempts are futile. He tries to get through to her with reasonable arguments, but she says her greeting was just her being polite and suggests he let it go. But then why couldn't she take her own advice and quote-unquote just let it go when she saw Carl's hand resting on Abby's chair? Why did she bring everyone's attention to this when they were sitting by the fire? So little things like this actually do mean something to her, but she understands how it feels only when Carl does it to her. Moreover, she got so emotional then that she got up and kissed another man in front of everyone to get some instant revenge. Drop it, okay? Revenge. Of course, he can't drop it, he can't let go, he's nervous, he's frowning, it seems that the triangle of sadness on his face is there to stay, at least while he's with Yaya. Do you think he's hot? You? Yeah. I like 
Obviously, we all have eyes and we see other people and sometimes even find them attractive, but there's no need to let your partner know that. What are they supposed to do with this information? It certainly won't make your relationship stronger. I can't help but feel sorry for Carl watching him try to explain to his girlfriend how a relationship works. It doesn't have to be so much work. It doesn't have to take so much effort, Carl. Let her go. Just let her go already. They've probably had many incidents like this one before. Carl probably either turned a blind eye on them or pretended he didn't care or tried to explain to her how her behavior affects him. Truth is, Yaya behaves this way because he lets her. She never respected him. It's not like all of a sudden she's going to start respecting him after he explained all her mistakes to her. Having failed to prove anything to his girlfriend, Carl feels frustrated and turns to his go-to method to solve any problem, ask someone for help. He goes to the manager to report uh, inappropriate behavior of one of the crew members. Of course, he knows that the shirtless guy had nothing to do with Yaya's reaction. He was just a trigger. The real reason is she just doesn't respect Carl, never did, and she even admitted that she actually is looking for a relationship with someone very different from Carl. But Carl is stubborn. He doesn't want to admit that and still isn't ready to give up on Yaya. And she lets him hang around until she finds someone better. You make you love me. Better. <laughs> a box with engagement rings catches his attention and suddenly he gets an idea. Maybe he should propose to Yaya and this will send her the message that he's serious about her. Maybe the ring will quote-unquote tame her and she will finally show respect of him. Carl hopes for the best and this idea is one of the rare occasions when he comes up with a solution on his own. Unfortunately, he can't afford any of these rings. He knows that Yaya loves luxury items and prefers to enjoy a lifestyle that he cannot provide her at least not at the moment. Once she heard this man is wealthy, she starts dancing close to him, encouraging him to dance with her, even with her boyfriend watching. Remember how she said when her modeling career ends, she's not going to find another job, she'll find a rich guy and get married. So a cruise like this one is also an opportunity for her to meet her future husband. Don't do that. He tries to set up boundaries for his girlfriend, but his attempts are futile. She responds with, do what? And their conversation just comes to a halt. Every time. He doesn't achieve anything with these conversations. He just accepts this reality. But it doesn't have to be this way. Had Carl been a confident man, he wouldn't have to explain everything to Yaya. She would sense his confidence and respect him. But he is insecure. He has to start building self-confidence somehow. Carl's constant need to explain and complain about what Yaya did wrong every time is annoying, exhausting, and not sexy, as Yaya correctly put it. Instead of talking so much, he could have just said that if she wants to be with him, She'll never do that again. And if she does it again, then he'll just have to keep his word and end their relationship. Of course, it would be difficult for him to do this, but he needs to take the first step and fake it until he makes it, until he becomes confident. Yaya traded Carl for a bag of pretzels easily. And for Carl, it was an act of love. In a very perverse way, but it was providing for Yaya, for her needs, because in the circumstances that they were in, he didn't know how to provide for her in another way, how to take care of her, how to be the man that she said she wanted to be with. For Yaya, it was a whim. She wouldn't even be able to satisfy her hunger with this bag of pretzels, 
but she accepted the bag and said, I hate you, Carl, <laughs> sending him off to become a sex slave for an older woman who was in charge of this island. Women generally are not interested in men like Carl, because he doesn't take initiative, he can't take matters in his own hands, he needs encouragement, a little push to do the right thing. He reminds me a little bit of Jan Su from the film Burning, I also did an analysis on it. He was also very passive, very slow to read the signs of a girl he was in love with, and in a way his passiveness led to a very sad outcome of the story. There's a similarity between these two stories, because Carl's indecision, insecurity and lack of initiative also led to his love interest being murdered. I mean, we don't know that for sure, but something tells me that Abby wouldn't want to go back to her old life. <laughs> People can change, especially a young man, a man in his early 20s like Carl. I think Yaya just didn't care enough to give him the push in the right direction. Overall, Carl's behavior, his constant questions, analysis is boring for Yaya, it's boring for Abigail, it would be boring to any woman. Worse, it's unsexy, as Yaya herself put it. Women are generally attracted to men who are confident, can take care of their woman, who take matters in their own hands. Carl is not that man yet. All that said, still, had Yaya wanted, she could have helped Carl become the man she wants him to be for her. Sadly, Yaya doesn't see him as a person. She sees opportunity, her own benefit, he was willing to become better for her. There was light inside him, a little bit of inspiration, but it was there. But Yaya, it seems, wants to get everything ready to go, to have fun with Carl because he's young and attractive and he works in the same industry and it helps her career. And then at the end of her career, marry a rich guy. Why bother encouraging a young boy to grow into a confident, strong man while being beside him. It takes time, yes, maybe years, and it takes effort, it's also work. Sometimes guys need encouragement from women, especially in the world we live in today, when feminism is spreading so widely. That being said, shy, indecisive guys need to become proactive, and women will be drawn to them. As I like to say, someone needs to take the first step. Maybe it will be a woman who will start respecting her boyfriend and keep encouraging him to be more proactive. Or it will be a guy who will start getting stronger and more confident and have the courage to set up real boundaries for his girlfriend. So that's all I have to say about Yaya and Carl's relationship. I hope you found this analysis useful and if you did let me know okay see you in my next video bye